part 10 of the order block strategy. So this strategy, um, sorry, this video is going to be talking about confirmation entries. Now, so in the last video, we spoke about risk entries. Now we're going to talk about confirmation entries and why this, um, this way of trading gives you a higher win rate. Basically, what it does is it allows us to confirm which order block is the one that we choose. So, for example, in this situation, yes, obviously, this has been refined down to the daily. And we've got two order blocks in this situation. We've got one here. Right. We've got one here. You can't even see that. Uh, sorry. There we go. So we've got one there and we've got another one sitting here, right? Now, if you were to use a risk entry and you, if you were to use this one, you'll take a loss. And if you were to use this one, then you would have won, right? Now, what the confirmation entry essentially is going to do is going to help us decide whether we're going to use this one or this one. Okay. And how it works, we need to wait for price to come to the order block. And then we're going to look for entry criteria again. So if I go over the entry criteria again, so for a sell, the entry criteria is this. Okay, exactly the same as before. Okay, um, and the second one is this. Okay, and for a buy, we've got this one. Okay, and we've got this one. Okay, so remember the difference is we have a liquidity grab on this one and a liquidity grab on this one, right? So entry number one is here and entry number two is here. Okay, entry one, entry two. Same with here, entry number one is here. Entry number two is the next one. Entry number two is always a safer option. Why? Because of the impulse and the successful retrace. It confirms that price is changing in trend. But these these four patterns is the only are the only patterns that you need to know. Right? So just bear that in mind. This is all we are looking for. So how does a confirmation entry actually work? Right? So if say for example, um, say for example, we are on the four hour time frame and we get a break of structure okay then price is slowly gonna oh sorry and now price is making its way back okay as price slowly starts to make its way back right we know that there's an order block sitting here now this is going to be entry number one right on the using a risk entry however what we're going to do is we found the order block okay we're going to label that out Essentially, what we're going to do, we're going to wait for price to get in to that zone. Once price has entered that zone, essentially what we wait for is this whole pattern again. We are waiting for this to happen. So we're waiting for this to happen, right? So essentially, we're waiting for a, mar a change in structure at the POI, at the OB. So the OB becomes a point of interest. Okay, so that's why we call it a POI, right? So essentially, we wait for price to come to come to the point of interest, and then we wait for our pattern to form for our structure shift. So essentially, what we wait for is, say, for example, um, this is on the four-hour time frame, right? And then what we wait for is a lower time frame. So let's just say the one minute is happening here. Wait for the one minute or five minute, whatever time frame you wish to use on the lower time frame, we wait for that shift in market structure. So essentially what we need is on the lower time frame, we need a break of structure and we need a impulse successful retrace, right? Same thing, this is gonna be num entry number one and that's gonna be entry number two. Okay, that is still the safer entry regardless, right? So it gives you a higher probability. So although on the four hour, this this entry number one, right, is obviously low probability because we don't know if it's just a liquidity grab and price can continue, right? But by using a confirmation entry, we can make this uh, low probability become a high probability by waiting for either entry number one or entry number two to get the best and the safest entry, wait for number two right why 
because of the impulse the successful retrace which breaks the structure so be better off waiting for that but alternatively you can enter after the liquidity grab okay if you have one if you don't have a liquidity grab that's fine because sometimes you just have something like this where you have the second entry criteria remember the second pattern we've got entry number one entry number two exactly the same thing right so that's that's literally all it is for confirmation entry let's look at it for a buy situation so a buy situation is exactly the same so say on the higher time frame uh sorry um apologies okay so for a buy situation we have for example this and then price is slowly going to make its way back right now we know that the ob is sitting here okay so we are going to mark that as our point of interest okay we're going to wait for price to enter this uh, point of interest okay as soon as it enters we're going to go to the lower time frame and we're going to wait for our pattern. Okay, remember we have one, we have two, we need one of two patterns. So we either have this pattern. Okay, so that's pattern number one where you have grab liquidity, then a break of structure. Entry number one is here. Oh, sorry. Entry number, oh God, sorry. Entry number one is here. Entry number two is there. That is a safer entry as we know. Okay, number two, number one. Alternatively, you can have the second pattern, which is where we don't have the liquidity grab and we just have the break of structure. We have entry number one, entry number two. Entry number two, again, is the safest entry. Why? Because of the impulse successful retrace. The entry number two is after the successful retrace. Why is that the safer entry? Because it confirms that price is changing in trend. Simple as that. That's essentially what a confirmation entry actually is. So how do we actually use this? Now, before I go on, before I show you an actual chart example, say for example, this is the four hour, right? Uh, let me let me draw this differently. So say obviously we're in this situation where price reacts, it breaks, it comes back and breaks, okay? So on the four hour, say this is the four hour time frame. Okay, we also have an entry point here, an entry point here, right? That is a safer entry, obviously, for the higher time frame here. So, it's but what it does is, although this is the lowest probability entry, using confirmation entry can give us a high probability for this trade. So we've entered this trade before the market has actually confirmed that it's going to shift, right? We're going to talk about targets in the next video, but that's essentially how how this uh, confirmation entry actually works. We can confirm whether this is the right OB and we can confirm whether price is going to react here or not. And you can do the same thing again. When you have the second entry on the higher time frame, we look for the same thing. We look for either this one or we look for that one, okay? So either we have an LG or we don't have an LG. Simple as that. Two patterns. For a sell is either this one or it's this one okay it either has a liquidity grab or it doesn't simple as that so now let's look at an actual chart example um sorry there we go so we have a gvp usd okay and uh, let's go back let's just go back here so what we can see is we've uh from the previous videos we've obviously refined the ob down to this one so what we are going to do is we're going to set an alert at, either, at the open of this OB. Okay, so what you can do is just mark a ray and then press the alert button and set an alert. And then what you can do is you can refine this OB to as much as you like. So essentially, imagine looking for a risk entry. You want to refine it to as much as you can. Right, so you're going to look for the last possible place where price is going to react. The reason being is because we don't want to take, for example, you might get fake outs where price will come here, right? You'll get this reaction, right? Yes, you'll probably get an entry point, 
but price needs to mitigate the OB that is sitting below. So by using by refining this OB to as much as we can, it allows us to prevent taking early trades, even though it's not the point of reversal. Sometimes you get that where price taps the open and then disappears, right? So that's why we set I set an alert personally at the open. Now, when you get a four hour OB like this, you can refine it to as much as you like. Alternatively, um, you can just use a fib and then mark the 50% of this, okay? And then set your, oh, sorry. And set your alert at 50%. If you do that, it does streamline the process because it does, you know, if it reaches 50%, and starts reacting here it's most likely mitigated whatever's in the ob to be honest so it's, it's easier doing that than actually refining it sometimes you won't find anything that's overly clear to refine right but it's up to you how you wish to do it so you can either put an alert at the 50 percent and the open and then wait for price to react to give you that confirmation entry alternatively you can do this you can go back to this ob and you can refine it. So there was actually something on the 15 minute, I believe. Yeah, so what you can do is, you, once you refine it, you refine it to the OB that's not been mitigated, which is right here, okay? And you can set your alert there. Once you've done that, essentially, you just sit on your hands, right? Let time, let this load, there we go. Once it's done that, you basically wait for price to come back. So let's go where it was. There we go, okay. So what actually happened is, if we go to this one, right? We essentially wait for our alerts to go off. Once the alerts actually go off, so let me go back to this one. So now that our alerts have gone off, this is when we're gonna be active, okay? So we've been sitting on our hands, for example, uh, we can set this, we've already broken structure, right? We know that price needs to come back and mitigate here. So we can set an alert, set an alert here, Right, and for this trade, I just set alert where somewhere here. We set the alert about eight days before price even got there. Okay, so it does test your patience a fair bit. Once we actually got there, which is here, we go to the lower time frame. So we're on the lower time frame. So we're on the one minute. So essentially, once price enters your POI, all we are looking for is for our one of two of our chart patterns for a buy. Right, we're either looking for this. Um, sorry, yeah, we're either looking for this, right, or you are looking for this, okay? The difference is, remember, is the liquidity grab. It doesn't, either one has one, one doesn't, okay? That's literally all it is. So, if we're thinking about it from this perspective, what can we see? So, here, we have this impulse, right? It clearly breaks structure, breaks structure, breaks structure, right? And, yes, we can probably think that price is going bullish at this point. But, is price confirmed as a bullish trend? No, because we don't have a successful retrace which breaks the structure just yet. So entry number one, for example, at this point, so obviously we create a high, low, now we broke this structure, right? So we've got this situation, right? So entry number one is gonna be here. So if you want to get that entry, you can, and then you obviously push up, okay? Now this is entry number one in this situation. The reason why is low probability because it's not confirmed that price is changing in trend. Okay, so just bear that in mind. That is why number one is not the highest probability. And what happens? Price comes flying down. Okay, so that's why number one is probably isn't the best option to use. However, it is an entry criteria that you can utilize should you wish. It depends on your risk appetite in terms of um, when, you, when you go to use it. So what can we see now, okay? We create this low. We find where the, we find where the most recent high was, which was here, okay? As you can see, it's because we create a low, then a high, and then we create a low here, okay? So essentially what you'll do is, so if you remember from the high and low video, let me get rid of these lines now because we don't need them. There we go. Essentially, you would mark out your low and you'll mark out your high and you're going to wait for either one of these to break okay so let's see what happens there we go okay so we broke now so we broke and create a new high the new the low is now going to be this one so the break of structure is here um sorry the break of structure is this one sorry wrong one there we go 
So we've got a breaker structure which is quite clear. And now entry number one is going to be at this OB here, should you wish to use it. Why? Because what we can see is from our entry pattern, we can see this situation. So we can see we've got a low, high, and then break. Okay, so we've got a liquidity grab here, and then we've got a break of structure. So we can look for an entry at this point. Then what happens is we get another break of structure. Okay, so our trading range is now going to be from here to here. Okay, that's the low, that's the high. If you think about it from this situation, um, what we can happen here. Okay, what do you see? You see a liquidity grab, you create a range, right? Entry point number one is here. And then we break structure again, that's entry point number two. Entry num point number two is obviously your safest option. Why? Because that is the entry after the successful retrace which broke the impulsive high. Now, if you get a situation where the uh, OB number one has not been mitigated, just be aware that if you place a trade at this point, right, just be aware if you get taken out, don't be too alarmed if price reacts off this OB. So don't be too alarmed if price takes you out on this trade and then reacts off here, okay? If this, that's only if this one has not been mitigated, okay? Because this one hasn't and there's clear imbalance. So there's clear reason for price to come here, okay? So just bear that in mind. If that happens, when you're in a situation where you get two um, OBs that you can enter off, you can either split your risk. So say if you use 1%, you can place your order at this point and place your order at this point. You can use 0 0.5 here, 0 0.5 here. If you don't want to do that, you can use full risk like I do. I use full, full risk at this point and full risk at this point and just sacrifice one position should it lose. Okay, because it can react to either one and they're both valid. Price is already confirmed bullish, so we can trade this with confidence, right? Alternatively, alternatively, you can just use the extreme, which is this one, and then place the order and wait. If you do that, you do risk missing the trade because most of the time it's going to react off the successful retrace OB, even if this one has not been mitigated. Okay, but once you're in this situation, obviously, because you're going to focus on the trading range you are in at the moment, you are going to place your order at the OB, which we're going to refine to this one. Uh, let's put our stop loss below the low, so that's going to be about three pips. If you want to refine that further, you can, but remember, you don't need to be a hero. If from the open gives you a like five pip or less stop loss, then use the open just so you don't miss the order. Okay, and let's see what happens. Does price react? It reacts perfectly. Once we break structure, we can move our stop loss to break even, but we'll explain about trade management in the next video. But as you can see, price has respected our entry criteria where we've got the liquidity grab break of structure and then another break of structure. So we reacted to entry number two. That's the safest entry to get. Entry number one wasn't even touched or mitigated. So that's essentially how a confirmation en entry actually works. You are just following the chart pattern that we look for, which is either this one for a buy or is either is either this one okay and for a sell it is like this or it is oh sorry or it is like like this okay where there's no liquidity grab but remember to confirm trend what do you need you need two things you need the impulse which is here and you need a successful retrace which is there you need one of those you know two of those things to confirm that price is changing in trend on any time frame so just to summarize the um, oh sorry just to summarize the overall uh, strategy using confirmation entry you find your higher time frame POI so you find your higher time frame OB set your alerts at either the open or refine it down and set your alert there wait for your alerts to go off once your alerts go off you are going to wait for a change in trend on the lower time frame is up to you what time frame you wish to use you can even use a lower time frame should you wish it's completely down to you and once you've done that is you can simply uh, place the order once the criteria is met so the criteria is obviously remember our chart patterns and you need uh, to confirm the change in trend you need the impulse right and you need a successful retrace which breaks the impulsive high simple as that okay those two rules are all you need 
Okay, you can either enter a number one or enter a number two. It's up to you how you wish to go about that. Um, if you remember, if you get two POIs, what to do is you can place two orders at sp and splitting your risk. Place two orders using full risk. Uh, use the most extreme or just place the one order and if that loses then you're out you don't want to trade it anymore once you're in the trade how are you going to set your targets so we're going to talk about targets in the next video but if you think about it from this perspective right so we had this impulse retrace okay so we know that price is bullish in this situation so our actual target should at least be that be that high again but obviously the markets are very unpredictable so we don't know if price is going to reach there or not but that's going to be the ideal target in terms of way the market is moving okay because if you think about it in terms of our chart pattern right ideally we've got an entry we should break structure come back and continue okay unless we break structure here and then go down so overall we're going to follow what we're going to trade what we see so at the moment our target is going to be up there and let's see what happens price reaches there quite nicely okay that's essentially how it works it didn't break the structure but at this point i don't know if it did in the end yeah it did break structure so we broke structure and that's going to be the next entry at this point because if you think about it from this is we break okay then we create this range from here to here okay then we break this range here so we're now we're in this new trading range and then we're going to look to enter here and to continue going long because at this point we've got no indication that price is going to be bearish so that is the overview of a confirmation entry and how to use it.